Hey guys, Jason121 here. Uh, today's video, we're going to be clearing up a little bit of confusion about the archive bonus and why, as an individual, it's not a huge help, but as an order event, it is spectacular. So, first things first, at level 1, to get that bonus, you have to have 5 max cards or have to have had 5 max cards, okay? So, cards like the Jade or Golden Dragon, uh, Angel Queen, any of the Devil Queen, any of those max cards that once you get their maxed out at their maximum level, that counts towards that inventory bonus, okay? That first bonus is one second off. The second bonus, which I just recently got today and why I'm creating this video is to inform you about that, it takes 20 max cards to have that, okay? Uh, that takes off an additional second. The third bonus is at 60 cards. And I'm going to guess that it's at an additional one second off, okay? So when you reach that max level, you're going to get an information, an informed box, okay? And then it will take you to that archive bonus page, which unfortunately I couldn't find a picture of. And it will say, activate this bonus, you said yes, and then it takes you less seconds instead of the normal 60 seconds. It takes you 59 or 58 or 57 to refill one stamina point. So let's take a look at the numbers and see how this actually benefits you in the long run because it's about one, for two seconds it's about 1.66 percentage better, okay? So you need 20 cards for that two second bonus and daily that gives you about 48 extra stamina points. That's about one card a day. If it's 15 stamina points consumed, you have to fight three monsters to get one card. That's my math on that, guys. And I know that's not always right, but it's pretty damn close. That means that the monthly bonus is about 30. If our order has 30 members, 30 times 30 will equal an extra 900 cards for our total bonus of all our members, which has a order of just 30 people. 900 cards really adds up. That's a lot of extra card fodder if you need to level up. And sometimes you actually get like a high rare or even a rare card out of those extra stamina points. So for that three second bonus, you're going to need at least 60 max cards. And as you can see, that's at 72 extra stamina a day, 1.5 cards a day, 45 monthly, times our 30 members. And that's 1,350 extra cards a month through just our members. I'm not going to use that yearly, you can do them off yourself, but you can really see that this really adds up, and in the long run, it is worth the extra work to get those max cards and just to swap back and forth. So I greatly encourage that, as long as you trust the person that you are trading with. I recommend not trading to anybody that is probably ranked below 10 in donations, or unless you know that person you know, in real life or you've trust them and you've done good business with them in the past, okay? Just because who wants to get ripped off of a really good, really rare card when you were just trying to help somebody out? That being said, I hope that our members continue to do what they've been doing. You guys have been doing a great job. And if you are a new player looking at joining the game, please use my referral code RUM26800. Um, my username in Rage of Bahamut is jbo785, and our order's name is House of God if you'd like to send me a message or if you're looking for donations. Remember, guys, if you use that referral code, you get a bonus card and you get some extra rubies, so give it a shot. Well, guys, thank you very much. If you have any questions, be sure to message me in-game or leave a comment. Hit that subscribe and that like button, and I hope to see you guys later. This is Jason121 signing off.